hyped up so much on the number two, just completely outperforming Indonesia there. And Eternum, the man of the hour, almost getting that SS on number two. And playing every single, I think almost every single map so far, isn't he? Man, what a, what a chat here, just coming in hot. Oh yeah. His, hopefully his team on the back, I mean hopefully everyone here is having a great supporting combo, but if anyone that sees this map, whoo, that's going to be spicy. But we'll get introduced right into the first potential break, which is the alternate section for about 10-15 seconds. Might see a few misses there, but we'll get right back into stabilizing combos right afterwards. And again, Romania, they don't have, you know, they, they're captain in arms to do to bring them home. It's not a map he can particularly play, and already we see very early breaks, but they favor Indonesia slightly. Camusilia and Roli. Outside of Romania, Indonesia have Finu with the early breaks. So it's three full commas to two to start this out, but we've got a long, long way to go. Yeah, Cress is coming in hot with the hidden here, which isn't a surprise to many. His hidden prowess is just really good across the board. And this map isn't too hard on hidden compared to the last week's tiebreaker, which was a nightmare on hidden. Bunch of misses, Lifeline missed, Kamosiala and uh, Rolly also missed here. Slight lead for Indonesia, but there's six minutes left. But again, Eternum finds a break. Once again, Indonesia, they're off to the strongest start. Nani is still holding in the full combo for Romania, but... It's not a good position for them to be in. Rolly struggling quite a bit in this first quarter. He can't bring it back. Vinu finds a break, though, for Indonesia once again. So there's only two full combos to one here. Yeah, those one third pass you see right now are mostly hurting Romania. You see a lot, a lot more misses on their side than on the Indonesian side. But you do see a lifeline window miss. That is going to be a full combo gone. Oh, no, actually, never mind. He already missed before. I I, I think I saw Christmas, but was it a ghost miss? I think it was, yeah. yeah I think I, or I'm just hallucinating at this point because of the hype. <laughs> it's gone to your brain. But there's another double break for Indonesia. Vinu and Lifeline go again. It's oh, man. Holding the four. As long as they do, Nania, there's nothing that can be done. Camusilia really struggling now. Cannot build a combo back up. Does not favor Romania, but they do have Roly and Eternum who are recovering nicely. Finu and Lifeline can't recover. It will make a big difference. Probably what's keeping things as even as it is at this point. Again, so much pressure on both sides. Nania. There's so much tension to hold. Slide over in Prez. Putting in the work for the team. And that hidden is going to help them along those lines. Yeah. Another one third pass. We might see more misses coming in from the Romanian side. Can't afford any, but that goes skydiver. A full combo gone. Oh, no. Asia now. Prez is one on one against Nania at the halfway point of this map. Wonderfully done by Romanian side here, holding a strong combo. Oh, it's. Oh, it's yeah, this drop in just complete misses all around the board from Indonesia. They have no combos left. And it's now, yeah, the turnum. Once again with Rogi right behind them. What? They just witness. Unbelievable scenes. Indonesia find a four way reset. Almost and you know what? They're coming into the number two part, which they won pretty handedly. Yeah, this is their normal two lineup. The second half of this map desperately favors them. Camusilia will drop for Romania. But look at the score gap. It's 300,000 points in Romania's favor. With Nanoya still holding on to a full combo, it's Hernum with 1500 combo, Roly with 1300 combo. A 
pressure right now will be so high on both sides of the equation. I knew I wasn't ready. You look at the stats, you look at the past performances, but stats don't care about your feelings. Look at the performance, it's all about how you perform on the day. And Romania is playing really well. Stats mean nothing here at this point. Camusilia finds another drop for Romania, but it's not one of the big combos that Indonesia needs. They are trying to mount a recovery. Lifeline Skydiver both holding on to these 600 combo now. Krez finds a reset. Vinu is slowly building. But look at Nanoya still holding on to a full combo. Three quarters of the way through this map. This is nearly seven minutes long. You can keep your statistics, but I prefer the magic. The magic of Romania happening strong here with Nanoya and Eternum and Gloriotti. I, I can't believe it. Is Nanoya poised to see this? Or did he uh, miss on a one third in the game? No, he has not he helped... missed. He has not oh, missed. Man. He is still holding on. Eternum is right there with him. This is seven minutes of 6.9 star difficulty. Roly does find a break. That's a big combo gone for Romania. But unless... I, there's just not enough time. Oh. Romania are going to advance. But can they do it in the style of Nanio with an FC? He breaks! And the really spicy number two streams. Reminiscent of number two here. You see some misses by Kress. Find Lifeline. Eternum holding on strong as he did on the number two. And it's going to be Romania who advance in the loser's bracket. Their run will continue, but it has not come easy. What a victory against Indonesia in the quarterfinals of the loser's bracket. Wow. Man, what a match. The way both teams just adjusted their pick strategy flexibly, especially Romania. Once free mods weren't working out, you didn't pivot into free mod free, you just started picking other stuff and answering on what Indonesia is good at on the day instead of going for stats. And what a match. Romania performed so well. So with that, we say goodbye to Singapore. Oh, sorry, Indonesia. Singapore left earlier. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> we do say goodbye to Indonesia, but man, they have they have had a stellar performance this year. They performed so well in the qualifiers and have left, unfortunately, a little early. But take nothing away from this Romanian side. They are here to play this year, but they still have another match that they've got to get through this weekend, but that will be tomorrow. But we have another match queued up right now for you. And it is going to be Sweden versus the Philippines. I believe our team is ready to go. 